What's going on homies? Welcome back to the home channel. Hope you're excited for this brand new video. Today we have part two of our Hot Ones, Not Hot Ones rendition. Joining us today is R.A. Fernando Marte. Fernando Hello everyone. How you doing? How's it going? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm chilling. Without further ado, let's get to it. So this is your first year living on student residence. How would you say that your life has changed from, you know, living at home as opposed to living here? I think it's changed a lot. I think being downtown gives you a lot of different experiences you don't get to have when you're living at home or with your parents. So it's one of those things I'm thankful for. It's like, I definitely got to meet like new friends, a whole bunch of different people, explore the city, which is another thing I never got to do because I always used to have to like, after my 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. run home uh, to make sure I'm making the subway and things like that. So I think I've grown a lot. I've done a lot of fun stuff and I've met a lot of nice people. So it's been great. Yeah, so now that we now got to know Fernando a little bit better, let's dig into our first wing. Okay. So just like last episode, we'll be starting off with our not so hot hot sauce, courtesy of Spice of Life, not sponsored by the way. <laughs> <laughs> got me excited out there. <laughs> I heard Spice of Life sponsored. I'm like, oh, Here you go. how many drops we done? Oh, however much you want, I just want this much. Is it actually spicy? We'll find out. We'll find out. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Not bad at all. Yeah. First wing, done. On to the next. So what would you say is one good thing and one not so good thing about living away from home? I think one of those good things is being in the heart of the city, kind of being where everything's happening. There's always like mini events happening. Like, do you remember when uh, the certified lover boy thing came out? Yeah. I saw it on one of the stories and literally ran to Young and Dundas. And, then and you, I managed to get two shirts. You got remember two that? shirts. Yeah, and then that's like something at home I would definitely not have been able to do. Uh, but maybe one of the cons is like, I miss my mom's cooking. <laughs> that's well, one of the big things, right? I think we all miss a bit of uh, mom's cooking one way from home. Yeah, yeah but it, it forces you to learn how to cook for yourself. So that's one of those cool things I've taken up uh, chefing it up in the kitchen, so I've got to learn. So more pros and cons. So as someone who used to commute a lot, could you tell us about, you know, one of the most interesting experiences commuting or like your worst commute ever? Oh, uh, I think this one actually was the day before I was set for move-in at home. Uh, I was at one of my colleagues' house. He lives like down the street from here and I had to go back. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm going up line one to get to VMC, which is Bond Metropolitan. Uh, or whatever it stands for, and then got stopped at St. Clair because the subway wasn't running the whole way up. It, it always stops at St. Clair, I don't know why. Exactly, I think it was like a power outage or they were working on something, and it took me an extra two hours just to commute home. Two hours? Yeah, so my entire commute got cut into like two hours and 45 minutes, or that's something that's usually only an hour. Wow. So yeah. All right, moving on to wing number two. We got our hot pepper sauce. That's the name. It's just straight to the point. Very mm -hmm. simple. Cheers. Cheers. You feel it creeping up. Definitely more of a kick. Yeah. So as someone who's a part of a ton of student groups, mm -hmm. how do you manage to, you know, manage your time? Oh, I'm a big fan of Google Calendar. <laughs> you can basically put your school schedule in there, any events that you're doing, and then you can invite people to host things on your actual calendar. So one of the cool things I do with my friend group is they have like see all details to the things I do, uh, and they can kind of plan our schedules based on that. So we can do like, hey, suggestion for uh, a bowling night, and then we can see who's available on that night based on everybody's Google Calendar, and then it's helped me be very organized and combine like what I do with student life, HOAM, and just being a person. That's the G-Cal, yeah? Yeah, G-Cal is the life. <laughs> All right, so moving on to sauce and wing number three. Number Fernando, two. would you care to introduce this one? Today, we have Spice of Life's Tropic Like It's Hot. Uh, this one seems interesting, but I hope it's good. Also, if you're watching, comment down below, uh, flats or drumsticks? I better see a lot of drumsticks in the comments. I'm definitely a flats person. 100%. It's just easier to eat, buddy. You're just wrong. There Sorry, you know. Fernando. All right. Cheers. I quite enjoyed that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, Fernando, everyone knows you're the king of networking. You know, VP corporates with businesses, students, team members. What are three tips that you can give in terms of, you know, getting to network with people? I think it's one of those things where you get value out of going outside of your comfort zone and actually walking up to people and relating to them on a personal level. 
So people are more willing to talk to you if you can have that connection right off the bat. So one of the things I like to do is really surround myself around uh, people who are interested in the same things I am. That's so let's talk about business. In a situation where I just met you, I'd learn a little bit about you, Drew, and then how I can add value to your life. So one of those quick things, it's like, let's say we we're talking about media production. Be like, hey, my friend over at the Future of Film Festival would love to interact with young people. Maybe I can get you two in touch. Something that you'll always remember, something that doesn't cost me anything, and builds our relationship even further. Ladies and gentlemen, Fernando Marte, VP Corporate of TRSS. There you go. <laughs> All right, moving on to sauce number four, holy smoked. Maybe just take a sniff of this one, yeah? Why not, buddy? Okay, okay, <laughs> not scary at all. Take a sniff of that. <laughs> Definitely more serious than the last one. Yeah? Yeah, it's not pineapple. I can oh, you no. Okay. You know I'll what? add a little extra. Don't Maybe. even worry about it. Let's get it. All right. All right How do you say a cheers in Spanish? Uh, to be honest, I have no clue. All right. <laughs> Insert uh, cheers in Spanish right here. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, salud. Mm. Oh, that one, it's fast. Mm-hmm. Should I drink my water? It's looking tempting. I think I can do it without it. Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. Fun fact for the viewers at home, water actually does not help with spicy food, but it's a temporary reliever. The more you know. So as we know, school should be coming back to a full you know, in-person return. Uh, what's some advice that you'd give to someone, or especially like a first year, who's on campus for the first time and trying to make new friends? I think I'm a little biased for this one. I'm a big believer in like student life and activities around campus enhancing the experience. Uh, so one of those things is I, I encourage people to like go out there and try something that's related to their niche because they really find people who are interested in the things that they are in those things. So for me, I'm interested in sales. So something like the Ted Rogers Sales Club was one of those things that was right away. I just joined in and met a whole bunch of my friends that I have from first year and now I'm graduating. We've been buddies for four years, even through the pandemic. So joining Student Life is one of those major ones for me. All right, Fernando, it's coming to that time of the show. We are on our final wing and our final sauce. So if you could just introduce that sauce for us. This hot sauce today is million plus plus pepper sauce. It's actually the one I've been looking forward to the most, to be Maybe honest. You just take a nice little whiff of it. A now. nice little whiff. Oof. Do it for the homies. For the homies. Okay, okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. So I saved the uh, big juicy drumstick just for this last one. And right. I feel like it's a little bit of a tradition to go a little extra, don't you say? Let's do it. That looks like almost a paste. On you know me. what, honestly, um, I might call in sick to work today. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay. And I feel like for this wing, we might need a bit of extra help. So with the power of editing, milk. milk. All right, so um, hopefully this milk, or this chocolate milk gets us through it. Fernando, go. it's been fun. It's been fun, buddy. Salud. Salud. It is fast, isn't it? Hit instantly, holy, whoa. Part of me wants to go in for more. <laughs> Got it all over with, all at once. Whoa. Your face is turning red. Yeah. I was hot. I think that's the hottest wing I've ever eaten. Ever. Ever. Oh, it hit me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Why does my breath hurt? <laughs> Hurts to breathe, right? <sighs> Cheers. Alright. Fernando. Last question. So. If you had a time travel machine and you can go back to the first yourself, your first yourself, what's one piece of advice that you give yourself? Uh, buy Bitcoin, uh, study a little bit more, join student life earlier, and live at home. All right. You heard it here first, folks. This has been Fernando Huarte. All right, at home. To this camera. This camera. Is there anything you want to say before we sign off? <laughs> I can't even say anything. Uh, shout out TRSS, shout out Drew, shout out to Home Cart. You know who you are. <laughs> My mouth is on fire, I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, that's been another segment of Hot Wings at Home. Signing off. Peace. Peace.